I'm back, people. Sorry. So today, um, it's been a pretty stressful day, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a pretty hectic few weeks. But, how am I coping with that? Making chocolate cookies. So that's what I'm doing today and that's what I'm gonna film for this week because, to be honest, I crave the sweet release of death. Just kidding, haha. <laughs> so these are vegan cookies. I got them from this website or this YouTube video from like beautiful vegan people in Hawaii who eat raw potatoes during the day and stuff. Anyway, this recipe is really important to me because I found it with one of my best friends, Emma, and we would make them during times of tribulation and sadness. So that's why I'm making them. <laughs> no, I've actually just been craving these like really aggressively for some reason. So I'm gonna go pretty quickly you guys, so try to keep up. We're starting with almond butter. Creamy because I'm not a monster, okay? Another thing you should probably know is that my camera batteries keep dying and I'm literally rotating between two as they charge and it's awful. Anyway, this recipe also uses this thing called aquafaba, which if you don't know what that is, it's chickpea water. I know, ew, so gross. I've heard all the... It's fell on the counter. I've heard all the jokes about how gross chickpea water is. However, it's supposed to be an egg replacer. I uh, don't know how that works, don't know the science on that, but uh, I don't have any. So we're gonna be using oat milk instead and these are just probably gonna turn out really bad. So fingers crossed, our expectations are low, but our love for cookies is high. Sorry about that. So yeah, just scooping out the PB. Okay, this is actually almond butter. Not gonna lie to you, I would never do that. So I've moved it lower so you can see me better because, whoa, you couldn't see anything I was doing. <laughs> I have the almond butter in this thing. That's step one, okay, people. Step two is add your aquafaba. I do not have that. So I'm gonna be adding oat milk. Don't know what this is about to do, but it looks like it'll be fun. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I also don't measure anything in life and in cooking. So I'll maybe link the recipe if I remember. If not, just like follow your heart, dude. Just follow your heart, it's not that deep. Um, so what I do normally is like mix the almond butter into the oat milk first. How are you guys doing? This is how I'm doing. Did you guys watch the VMAs last night? I haven't yet and I want to real bad. So I think today after all my chores and duties are done, I'm gonna put on the VMAs and eat these cookies because it's been one of those days, dude. It's been one of those days. I might start doing more fashion review type of videos, but I just don't like the, um, what did the people on E! used to do? Not on E! like the drug, on E! like the channel for entertainment pop culture. Um, it was like the, with like Joan Rivers, it was like fashion police, I think that's what it was. They always just seemed so like scary and rude. I mean, they were very, you know, educated and I'm sure they had a lot of um, points to what they were saying. But I just don't think I have that aggressive energy to like tell people that I think they look like but who knows, maybe I can grow in that area. Maybe I can become more disrespectful. Sorry, I'm just cracking my dry brown sugar. That's dry because it wasn't sealed properly. Okay guys, buckle up. If someone doesn't edit that footage and make me into a serial killer, I don't know where your creativity has gone because it's disappointing. Okay. Oh good, it did nothing. That's really good. This is like a dirty knife, by the way, so I'm very sanitary. So I do it in this order just because it makes it easier to mix because I'm very lazy and I like it to be easy. So I just put like, I don't know how much sugar, however sweet you want it to be, my guy. I wonder how many people that find my channel from like my UCSD videos. Subscribe to me, thinking that I'll make more informational content. And then they look, and then I'm baking cookies. So that's that on that. Um, the sugar, like there's something wrong with it. I was going to use vegan egg stuff, you know, the powder that I got a long time ago. But I looked but I looked at the expiration date and it expired 
in October of 2017. Just let that sink in. So that was disturbing and I decided to prioritize my health and well-being over um, vegan egg powder. So at least I accomplished that today, which is nice. Okay, so it's starting to look like this. You see that? Looks like a little bit of a cookie dough. I'm on my last wick, fuse. Is that what that saying is? I don't know. Mm. I mean, it's just almond butter and sugar at this point. I don't know why I tasted it, but it gives you more sugar. Once I start tasting it, you guys, that's when I start losing consciousness. I start losing my rationality once I start eating my batter. I honestly, whenever I bake, I don't put as much sugar as like you're supposed to, but I feel like that's fine. And it always turns out like edible, somewhat. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Who am I to say? Okay, that was a lot of sugar. Delete what I just said, because this is mostly sugar now, so that's good. How is everybody's life doing? You know what I'm excited for? On a lighter note, I am so excited for Halloween and Christmas, you guys, and Thanksgiving. That is like when I peak as a human being. Like I'm just happier in the fall and the winter. I'm just in a better mood for some reason because I have something to look forward to because I'm so excited for the holidays. I love like baking stuff and cooking stuff. So Thanksgiving, I really go off. Thanksgiving, I really go off and I like cook all this vegan um, side dishes. So I do like a mashed potato, I do stuffing, I do tofurkey. I'm not even kidding about that. Don't come for me, tofurkey is delicious. And that's that on that. I think I, yeah, I did. I posted a, oh cute. I posted a Thanksgiving vlog last year where you can see me baking and cooking all my stuff. So if you wanna watch that, go ahead and check her out but every year we have like a friendsgiving type of thing where we have our friends come over to my mom's house and it's just really fun okay you guys i'm a simp for the holidays oh i have to take everything out of the oven whoever doesn't use their oven as storage for pans like i salute you but i also don't trust you because you're too organized for me <laughs> Preheat your oven to three to three mat three fifty. Ha, ha, ha. There's two pots balanced on a Bath and Body Works candle, and that's the name of my first album. Stream it below. You guys, it's chaos. It's chaos. I was supposed to clean the whole house, and you know what I did instead? I'm making cookies, and I'm making more of a mess every second. And am I stressed out about it? Yeah. But what am I doing? Continuing to bake. That's who I am as a person. Okay, we added our cocoa powder. Ooh. Okay. I might have put too much. Ooh, might have put too much. Yep, put too much. Yeah, we're gonna dump some out. We're literally gonna dump some out. You guys, what's happening? Okay, we dumped some out. Continue to stir everyone. Don't give up hope, okay? Things are looking bleak, but never give up hope. So now it's looking like this, really good. I feel a sugar lump. The name of my second album. Stream it below. I'm gonna add some vanilla extract. Who knows what this does? Because I always want to eat it, but then it tastes like alcohol. So, and I'm a woman of Christ, Jesus the Savior. By the way, write that down. Put that on record. Put that in your file about me. Uh, I'm literally kidding, but in one of my other videos, I said that, and someone took it literally and then like roasted me for being religious. So, I don't know if you want to do that. Do it. Join the club. Oh, it's good. I've been craving these for so long, you guys. This is gonna be like magical, a magical moment. This is literally rock hard. Ooh, that worked. Oh, I should have just been doing this from the beginning. If you use your hands, it's easier, people. Not that anyone else will be having rock hard sugar like me. We're done with pretty much everything. We're just gonna add a little bit of, hold on. This is literally a bag of trash. Like, I'm so sorry. You had to see that. I'm clean and I'm healthy. We're gonna add a little bit of BP. That stands for baking powder, not beer pong, Jessica. Put your mind out of the gutter. Um, ooh, too much, definitely too much. Well, we do want them to be fluffy, I guess. All right, last step, people following along at home. Take your vegan enjoy life dark chocolate morsels and Open them 
No, put them in. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that. Yep. This is the magic, people. Ooh, those are really dark. Those are kind of gross. Um, so now that we have our cookies that may or may not be really gross, we are going to put our chocolate away. Save that for later. Roll it up tight like your blood. Okay, why did I say that? Now you're gonna get your pan. Oh, look, there you are. Balanced on a milk frother. Um, you're gonna get your batter. It should look like this. Yep, see that? Like brownie texture almost. Oh, maybe these need more chocolate chips. Oh. I'm gonna add more because honestly, the more chocolate, actually, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Snap out of it, Chloe. You're getting hypnotized by the chips. Okay. So we do little blobby blobs for a good time. Just like little snowflakes. Oh, I wish I lived somewhere where it snowed. Like I know people that don't live in snow are the only people that say that, but I'm sorry. I'm gonna be one of those girls because I love the snow. I love what I've watched on Gilmore Girls about the snow. I love that Lorelai Gilmore can smell the snow. And I feel like I would also have that ability because I'm quite intuitive. Um, if you didn't watch Gilmore Girls, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but that's fine. Honestly, if you don't watch Gilmore Girls or you haven't before, please watch it. Especially for like fall, winter time. It's like the coziest, cutest show. It makes me want to live in a small town, but then I'm like, hmm, no, I actually don't want to do that ever in my life. So now I'm going with. Mm. Uh, anyway, the oven wasn't on. Oh my god, are you kidding me? So disrespectful. So rude. This has gone pretty smoothly, you guys. Like compared to my other cooking videos where I've made um the other vegan desserts, this is going swimmingly, I must say. But yeah, I'm just gonna put them in the oven, and then when they come out, they're gonna be nice and flat, like me and they're gonna be delicious and i'll show you them maybe i'll like film a clip on my phone or something feel free to make these at home they're really good they're a nice treat they're vegan they're gluten free so if your friends are gluten free or vegan uh pull up with these and they'll love you forever plus you can eat the batter and it won't make you sick well it will make you feel sick because it's a bunch of sugar but it won't make you like die from worms in your stomach i think that's what happens when you eat raw flour and egg I don't know. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. If I don't insert any clips of the cookies, if I do, I'm gonna do it now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick random video. Ugh, I honestly feel better now. I just needed to chill, bake a little bit, catch up, talk a little smack, okay, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for watching. If you watched to the end, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and turn on the bell because some of my friends are telling me that it didn't show up in their notification or their subscription box or maybe they're just telling me that because they didn't want to watch it. I'm talking to you guys. But anyway, uh, yeah, turn on the bell if you want to be notified when I post a new video. Subscribe, like this, comment on it, give, share it to your friend. Dude, if you like cookies, share this video to your friend. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace! I'm so sorry. Like, why do I keep burping? I'm getting too comfortable on camera. Bye! Hmm.